In this scenario, we are looking at a warehouse protected with a VXR dry system that is operated due to a fire that has been extinguished. The area is safe to enter. First, the system water supply must be shut off. Now, begin draining the system by opening the main drain. Next, shut off the air supply to the system by closing the quarter inch isolation valve before the air pressure maintenance device and verify there is no pressure showing on the air supply pressure gauge. Ensure that the system is drained prior to replacing any sprinklers that have operated or may have been exposed to excessive heat in the fire. Next, press the push rod on the VXR valve upwards. This will allow the clapper to drop down and seal against the seat. If the system was not fully drained or if excessive condensation forms in the pipes, a water column may form over the clapper. Since the VXR operates on a 6 to 1 pressure differential, even a moderate amount of water resting on the clapper can impede system operation. However, an anti-column device will prevent this from occurring. The hollow steel ball inside of the anti-column device acts as both a weight and a buoy. If water is present, it will float to the top, allowing water to drain out the bottom. Otherwise, it will return to its resting position, resealing the chamber. Ensure there is no air remaining in the accelerator's upper chamber by looking at its air gauge. If any air pressure remains in the accelerator's upper chamber, remove the plug from the side outlet valve and allow the air pressure to drain. Once there is no air pressure remaining, replace the plug. Next, Re-establish the system air pressure within 5 psi of the set pressure by opening the air bypass valve. Once pressure has been re-established, close the air bypass valve. Place the air maintenance device back in service by opening the quarter inch and isolation valve that was shut earlier. Partially open the water supply valve and allow water to enter the inlet of the valve. Now, close the main drain. Water supply pressure will show on the water supply pressure gauge. Finally, fully open the water supply control valve. Congratulations, the system has been restored and the reset is complete.